Okay chaps, I put some photographs on this morning of the mould, the simple balsa mould that I made. Um, I've increased the, the length by doubling up on the front, same on the back, same on the bottom. There's a slot underneath there, that's just basically for um, just cutting it open when it's finished and just peeling it off just makes life a little bit easier. Anyway, there's the fuselage. The Spyro 3. You can see it's, it's oversized. Hopefully, when the mould's finished, or well the canopy's finished, sorry, there'll be an overlap of about 10 millimetres all the way around. Fingers crossed. Um, what I'll do, I'll put a, some hardwood blocks just in there and just in there, and just simply screw through to hold it. Keep it simple, keep it light, and keep it cheap. So, um, what else is there? Oh yeah, there's a bottle that I'm going to use, just a your standard pot bottle, two litre. Um, I've cut the bottom off, um, don't know what to do with that, I might send it to Arizona. Anyway, I'm going to have a play, I've got the vacuum cleaner there, two or three spare bottles just in case I cock it up. Um, and I'll upload the better video, or the best video in a bit. So, oh, another thing while you're using the hot gun, wear some gloves. It does not get hot. So, anyway, I'm going to have a play. Okay, chaps, let me show you what I've got. Paint stripper gun, although you could probably use the the air modelling covering gun, you know, for tightening up your film and that. I duct tape the, the bottle onto the hoover, or the vacuum cleaner should I say. There's the mould. Drop it in. First off I'm going to go along the bottom, and then I'm going to pull the edges round on the back. So, here we go. I bet this doesn't work. I don't know if you can see it. the bottom gun. What I'll do now, I'll hold it like that. Just chop it from shrinking like that. Same on the other side. I don't know if you can see it like that or not. It's best just to play the heat over. If, you, if I show you on this bit, look, if you, if you look there, if I hold it on too long, you'll see it crystallise and go white. See it, see it there bubbling up? Anyway, just keep the side. Now that I've got a nice tight seal on the back, I can turn the vacuum cleaner on. There we go. Vacuum cleaner's on now. Sorry about that chaps, I was going to get another memory card so it uh, cut off a little bit early but you could see that it was finished and I've let it cool down um, and I've cut the canopy off the mould, trimmed it to shape and that's basically the finished article. Um, obviously I've got to trim it around here for the servo uh, rods to come through and when they're all uh, fitted but you can see the overlap I was on about all the way around. Um, it up like I said or whatever whatever you want to do anyway it's 
it's not 100% but it's made from a pot bottle so <laughs> you can't expect too much there's a few blemishes on it but when it's 100 foot up in the air the video is going to see so anyway I'm going to put that to one side now and carry on with the head um, what I've got planned for the head is instead of using a universal joint they, they cost about £10 each and I want to build this as cheap as I can um, so everyone can have a go I, mean, I, I know a lot of these kits are, are quite expensive at the moment especially if we're getting, getting them from abroad with the uh, exchange rate but anyway that's what I'm, my idea is using a bit of um, petrol pod I had, I had I don't know 6 or 7 inches left from when I built my kit car a few years back um, I think it's got a a four and a half mil diameter hole so it pushes on really tightly but I might glue it but I need to have a play with that and I've got to draw up the head which shouldn't take too long but as you can see it's it's coming along um, and hopefully I should get it done maybe for next weekend hopefully I've got to get some um, some wood for the blade some, some spruce for the leading edge but basically the blades uh, are the same length, same width as the um, LA rotor shape. Um, originally, I built the FHG and that had the had the rotor shape size blade, so I, I just stuck with those and they they seem to work okay. And I think you can buy them. Um, I've been waiting for Mike at Aerobolts to start making his, his smaller blades again, but um, obviously he's a busy guy. So, but I'm sure they work when he when he gets around to making them again anyway that's as far as I've got at the moment um, I'm going to have myself a cup of tea now a nice old English cup of tea in my mug that I had for Christmas off one of my mates in America <laughs> anyway I hope you're enjoying the thread and I hope to see a lot of spiros flying um, I hope you enjoy it because that's what it's all about Anyway, I'm going to go inside now, it's getting late. I'll catch you later sometime this week. Bye bye.